Fridays and brought to you by JCI Ideas. And right now, we will be featuring one of the great leaders, not only in JCI, also in our community here in Zamboanga City. I would like to present to you, Shempre, I'm 2023 um, EVP, and also the champion, the Aspect champion of 2023, no other than. Christian Olasaman. I won. I won. How are you now? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm sure. Naman, laging good tayo kahit hindi good chares. But anyways, no. Uh, we are here in this talk because we would just like to know, or can you share your public speaking journey so that other can inspire also to prepare for this coming, you know, aspect then or my area tayo na competition in public speaking. You are also the area uh, chairman for the 2024 public yes. speaking. So, ayun na nga, how did you start your journey in public speaking? It's it's a long journey. Um, as a matter of fact, it went to three past presidents <laughs> um, to complete the entire thing. But okay. really, it started with uh, with a situation when I was forced to join it because I, mm -hmm. I just felt they don't have a choice as to who to send to the Design. competition. But eventually, it turned out to be one of the best things that happened to me personally um, in my JCI career. career. You know? um, it started during the pandemic. Um, it was a time where you know uh, we're all locked in our respective households. So that was the time we're in when we had a competition. Um, it was a virtual competition. Virtual. Although most of the competitions are done now face to face, yes. but I went through a competition that was done virtually. So hindi ko na enjoy yung mga travels um, <laughs> going to ASPA or in the world competition. But more than that, um, it's really also about storytelling. Um, I think I always believe that public speaking is about sharing the best stories that you can share with whatever topic you're asked to talk about. Wow. And, and most of this really is reflecting on our experience as JCI leaders. But at the same time, also reflecting about how the, the pandemic affected mm -hmm. all of us how it affected our communities, um, mm -hmm. the businesses, for example, and the organization okay. itself. Um, during the area, um, it was really a reflection of the impact of the pandemic on our mental health. Um, okay. That was what we talked about. I remember that time, the like, brown out pad after the competition. Oh. So, um, the kind of na problema sa lighting and, and other technical aspects, but we won the competition. Are you um, na raos? Na iraos natin yon. Aside from this, uh, we joined the national competition. So good thing that even the uh, pandemic, pa mga yeah, na yun, we were able to push through with the national convention in um, Kawayan in Isabela, um, Cagayan Valley. During the national competition, we were asked to talk about our role as JCI leaders at the height of social Dependent. media and political engagement in relation to the upcoming election. So um, it was also a time to reflect and, and to also look into um, how and what we can do as as JCI as leader. So, napaka gandaring point of reflection, no? Um, because when we work on our speeches, although we were given ve a very short time to prepare, as a matter of fact, hindi nga ako nakapag socials nung natcon because I would just stay and in the hotel room and, and, everything. And, and, and finalize the speech up until I could memorize it. Um, but more than that, um, it's also really about the stories that were shared. Um, no mga panahon na yon. Luckily, um, we won the competition. It was also unexpected because napakagaling rin ng mga kalaban natin um, from other areas. But we were able to represent um, Area 5 and, and win in the national competition. During the nationals, um, doon ko na naramdaman na seryoso na talaga to. No? Parang nung nasa area pa, naglalaro-laro lang. But when we won the nationals and we realized that we'll be representing um, JCI Philippines, Philippines um, in the Asia-Pacific um, competition, um, doon ko na naramdaman yung pressure because you're already not just carrying your local organization and your but area, but the no? entire Philippines. Feeling ko na isa akong Olympic um, ano to? <laughs> athlete na mag alsa ng bandera ng Pilipinas in the Olympics. That's that's the feeling that I got. So it was you know it was heavy, 
but at the same time it was also exciting um ah, because okay. to be able to represent the country um in an international competition is a rare opportunity i mean it doesn't knock on your door Wait, always kasi hindi <laughs> naman lahat ng taga mindanao nagre-represent yes. like you know to to go there in the nationals to represent mm -hmm. your country or yeah. ang hirap ng taga mindanao eh, to to put in the pedestal but here you are, you won this ASPAC champion title. And do you still remember how many are you in the competition when you are competing in the national? I think sa national were only five because there are like five areas. Area, okay. So, but nung pagdating na in the Asia Pacific sa ASPAC, I think we're 12, if I'm not mistaken. So, nagkaroon pa ng pre finals, okay. preliminary competition. Preliminary. So, out of the 12, um, tatlo na lamang kami. So one was from Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. The other one was from Bangladesh, and ako yung pangatlo right. from oh, the Philippines. Um, that time I also remembered um, we were at a hotel room in Zamboanga, and then nagkaroon ng technical problem. Uh, so yeah, like I mean, yung pinagplanuhan namin na set up na nakalagay na dun yung camera yeah. and all this ay hindi nasunod. Um, yeah. But we don't have a choice because we we're supposed to go live. And nag start na yung broadcasting, tinawag na yung pangalan ko. We were panicking. Um, I remembered one of our members, parang nagpikita lang na mata and prayed because they don't know what to do. What to do because we're supposed to next. start. So, hindi talaga may nagamit yung camera na nakalagay doon, nakaset up. We were using the the phone from the, oh, uh, the, the our mobile phones. phone from the cell phone. And imbes na nakatry pa yun, it was handheld. <laughs> I mean, the entire duration, when I was speaking like for more than three minutes, uh, more than five minutes if I'm not mistaken, eh, hawak-hawak lang yung cellphone. So, all of these were the challenges we encountered um, during the competition. But we were able to make it um, in the preliminaries and proceed to the final round. So, the final round, nakabaw naman kami. And then, yun rin, a sudden change of the talk. I remembered, um, I was just given an, an overnight preparation. Um, for the final round the following day. So, kailangan mo rin magsulat ng magsulat at mag-reflect ng mag-reflect. While others were saying, yeah, lumabas naman, kumain. Like, I just went out to oh, have yeah. dinner. But the rest of the time, I was finalizing the speech up until early in the morning. Pero competition na pagdating ng hapon. And, and really, parang less than, you know, 24 hours preparation of writing your speech and memorizing it and Everything. delivering it um, for the entire Asia-Pacific to listen. So, that was also an entire you know, unique and fun experience to... Ano to? Grabe pala through. talaga yung pinagdaanan, no? Like, you say nga, hindi ka prepared na ikaw ipapadala ng Area 5 to the Nationals. And here comes na you won the, the, the National and pumunta pa ng International. Parang first ba? First runner-up ba tayo? Or in the world? Diba? Um, wala namang results oh, talaga wala. doon sa, sa World Finals. But we were only four. Um, I represented the Asia Pacific and then we had one from um, Europe, one from Africa, Africa, and one from the Americas. Um, eventually, the, the winner was from um, Europe and then no announcement anymore as to rankings. But uh, we, I'm sure all of us did our best to represent um, each of our regions um, ng mga panahon na yun during the World Finals. Interesting then for me is that it became a platform to share stories about um, close to our experience in Zamboanga. I remember aside from talking about the pandemic, I talk about the Zamboanga siege. Um, I talk about um, having an OFW father um, during the Asia Pacific competition. So it was really a reflection of my personal journey and our communal journey as a city. Um, in all of the crisis we experience. How do you inspire others to, you know, to do this public speaking platform to like to other GCA members? Can you give us a tips on how to do it? Um, I think number one for me, when we look at leadership, it's also about your ability to be able to inspire others and to influence others, to believe in you, to also share your vision, right? And I think to be able to do that effectively as JCI leaders, mahalaga rin that you're able to um, express yes. all of these ideas, the, the vision, right? Mm -hmm. So that they can also subscribe to it. Kaya mahalaga rin, like us as JCI leaders, that we train ourselves to be uh, public speakers because at the end of the day, di ba, when we communicate with others, okay. when we talk to the public, when we visit communities and do projects, a lot of the work is also about sharing the message of the organization to the rest, right? At kaya mahalaga yun. It's a, it's a skill that you have to master and in the process, I also believe that a lot of 
the leaders who shined um, in the entire JCI organization are the ones who are able to speak out diba? And, and share their ideas to uh, have the ability to effectively communicate. Kaya isa yun sa mga dapat na ma-inspire sila na while they are at JCI, um, at hindi pa sila gumagraduate from the JCI movement. <laughs> yeah, hindi eh, pa 40. <laughs> yes, um, na-harness nila at na-enhance nila yung skill na yun. Um, because it's a life skill that we should have. It's also a survival skill yes, no? in, in project management, um, in in coordination. You know, whatever we do in JCC, we yes. do public speaking. Hindi mawawala yun. Diba? You're asked to either host an event or deliver a message. Diba? If you're the project chair, you're supposed to also give a message. So, yung mga to diba, are challenges. Diba? And, and alam naman natin na lahat may phobia talaga sa public speaking. It's True. not like something that innately lalabas lang sa'yo. Correct it naman. would take you know quite some time for you to be able to master that confidence. So, marami namang mga tips. Diba? A lot of uh, the people who will who also had their own respective experiences in public speaking will give you several tips. But for me, pinakamahalaga nun is you need to put your heart into it. Diba? You need to be passionate about it because only then you will be inspiring okay. and you will be influential. If in the things that you say, maramdaman nila na andun yung puso mo at, at totoo ka sa sinasabi mo. And that is something that innately you should be what authentic, right? In, yeah, in what you're saying, because it's mahirap magpush ng mga advocacies, diba? When you do projects and you do public speaking, but people will feel like, parang yeah, you're just doing it for the sake of you know compliance, mm-hmm. figure or whatever other interest na meron ka. So mahalaga that you have your heart into it. Second is I always say it's about the stories that you share. Um, more than just sharing concepts. Mahalaga rin that you are relatable to your audience. And yes. usually, people are able to connect with you if you share stories that in one or another, they will also share or had experience as well in their respective, you know, lives. Kaya mahalaga yung mga kwento. Di ba nga sabi nila, we're innately marites as a person. Mahilig oh, tayo sa, okay. sa kwento. Kasi people, doon tayo nag-i-engage yes, eh. Yes, yes. We engage people engage with your it, stories. So, mas naiintindihan nila yung mga konsepto at mga ideya at yung mga advocacies mo. If there are stories that you connect to it. And I think my entire journey from the area to the nationals to ASPAC and to the world, hindi mawawala dan yung mga kwento ng mga Pilipinong na-encounter natin na na-highlight natin sa sa mga speeches na na-deliver ko. And then, um, siguro third, it also takes a lot of time for us to practice and, and widen our vocabulary, di ba? Mahalaga rin na pinagpapractice natin yeah. because it's a competition. You have to master it. Although may mga iba that, who are gifted na kaya yeah, magbigay correct. ng speech instantly, pero iba pa rin yung pinaghandaan mo, yung sasabihin mo. Uh, because hindi masasayang yung oras na binigay sa'yo because natutumbok mo yung gusto mong sabihin. Oh, there you go. We have already top three uh, mga tips, mga tips, tips, tips na pwede natin gawin. Hindi naman natin kailang i-apply talaga ang tatlo, pero it's uh, all about you, how you're gonna deliver it, or how you're gonna present it to your to the public, uh, yourself. Yun lang talaga, confident on how you, paano mo maging ikaw sa sarili mo. And that, that is super nature naman kasi sa'yo. You know, it's very normal. It's very, you know, Christian Olas naman. Yung... Mahaba, rin, mahaba rin yung pinagdaanan natin. I yeah. mean, it's a something that nandiyan na lang kaagad nung pinanganak na tayo. Right? I mean, it, I wasn't really born, born to okay. be like a good speaker. I, I'm sure in the process of, you know, um, all the experiences we underwent when we were younger up until now, um, lahat ng din yun contributed to who we are right now. I mean, to you and to me and to those who are listening. And you have to value that entire journey because it makes you rich as a as a speaker, diba? Because you're bringing in um, your experiences and your stories, your narratives um, into the table so that others can listen and connect with you. Correct naman, no? Yun yung maganda talaga sa public speaking if you really connect to your audience when you do in the competitions and they, they know the stories and then you could able to, ano to? tie up all of the things that you would like to see in the public. Because at the end of the day, the competition is competition. Yeah. Um, they will really look forward and hindi lang sa sinasabi mo, hindi yung laman din ng konteksto. Like, yeah. what is inside of it and what is the gist that you would like to share it. They would love also to see it's it's not about the story lang but it's the flow also so So, ikaw na ba yung next na magpa-public? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Sana yun! <laughs> Gusto man natin, pero I don't think so na ako. Ang dami pang qualified dito sa West Minto na kayang mag-public speaking. And sa gabay mo, you, know, you are there, you can able to, you know, pass your 
crown to the next crown one. Talaga, no? To the crown, parang beauty pageant. But um, really, we made waves noong mga panahon na yun. Sabi nga nila, I was the the first from Area 5 who became an ASPAC champion and the seventh Filipino who made it diba? um, as world. an ASPAC champion to the world. So that in itself is is making history. And and we hope and pray that there will be a next you know champion, hopefully um, from Area 5, na makakapasok sa Worlds and, you know, Sana, grab the Sana. We are, uh, <laughs> we will gonna wait into, ano to, not, uh, Aircon. Aircon, since you are the, yes, the, the chair. Yes, when I was asked to become um, Area Chair for public speaking, I did not say no. I accepted it because um, it's a constant parang challenge, no? Um, for us who already underwent the entire experience and we are also hoping that we can also you know, mentor and support all the new public speakers and rising stars we have in Area 5 to also rise up and yeah. be able to also represent well um, our area in the competition. Oo, oh, oh, and dami natin newbies um, pumapasok sa uh, mm-hmm. industries natin, sa ating organizations. And um, we can hone someone or pwede tayong pa mag-train as, you, as your guidance as one of this, you know, champions in already in GGC at Philippines. Pwede nyo kami i-guide throughout of this. Hindi man ako, gusto man natin na ako ang maging representative ng next, no? But I hope there is someone more better that who could able to, you know, you can assist to. And sana this time, Westmin 2 or Area 5, who could able to top again and ask back into the world so that we could able to, you know, hone another Hall of Champions here in ano to, Philippines. Kasali ka na doon eh, sa Hall thank of you, Champions. And we are blessed that you are in GCA Zamwanga. You are trying to put every time your heart out when we need help for you know, for someone na needs to be trained in public speaking. Andyan ka. Not lang, hindi lang sa amin, pati sa other areas nga eh. If you were <laughs> Yeah, we also had um, several training trainings in the past. No? And hindi lamang siya for JCI Sambuanga, but we also had participants from other chapters um, in the other areas who yeah. also participated and listened. So, I'm also very happy. Um, as a matter of fact, I remembered after my time as champion, yung sumunod, I was also able to mentor him because he also attended the, the training. So, Ayun. mahagi rin na lang pa, pagpasa ng negasiya sa ibang pala. Passing the crown na sabi ko, <laughs> diba? It's like a beauty queen uh, for me. So, ang hirap kasi, uh, it takes time to be a public speaker. Kasi hindi naman tayo was born for it. John, ang hirap pumunta ng aspect na ang baon mo lang is yung kumpiyansa natin, yung pagmamahal ng LO natin. But that sustained us though. I mean, the, the love that uh, um, I felt that was given to me by the local organization and all our sister chapters was Aww. really um, instrumental, not just for me, no, but for the entire team who were there, um, in front and behind the camera. Lahat sila contributed to the overall success of our bid for ASPAC and our successful bid as well for the World final. So, lahat ng yon, um, really, it's not just about me, but it's about everyone helping out in the entire process. So, yun lang, maganda, maganda kasi siyang, you know, to work, share the process that you've been through and pinagdaanan mo para ma experience namin or malaman namin on how we gonna back on to this next champion. If everybody will see us now, um, they will know how to prepare and how to be, you know, the guidance, the, the three guidance that you provide, the tips kanina. Maybe we could be able to use it as preparation for mm-hmm. the upcoming competition. Hopefully, you can train more and Yeah, we're always more. here to support um, whoever is our next um, kumbaga, participant or representative in the competition. And dito naman tayo to provide all the needed support. Alam mo, ayokong tapusin ang gabi. Uh, ayoko itapos ang araw na to, uh, to speak with our champion. Ang sarap kasi, like, you know, you're getting more knowledge how to prepare him to go into the competition. Yun na nga, I would like to say thank you so much thank for you, gracing the you. night. Um, wala na kami masabi for you. <laughs> Hopefully, magkakaroon tayo ng another um, aspect champion for Hopefully, our yes, area I'm file. sure. <laughs> but, you know, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's listening and watching right now to Future Fridays. Hopefully that the future more leaders and more, you know, active citizens, not here in Zamwanga but in the entire region. <laughs>
I'm going to close the picture of Fridays with saying goodbye, adios, and I would like to say thank you so much for listening and watching to us. In the next picture of Fridays, abangan. See you there. Bye-bye.